Now we've come to the editor's uh, extras and um, there are two extra buttons in this uh, editor which will be available to you. That is the insert edit template and insert edit iframe. I will start with insert edit template. Say that you have um, a list of employees or board of directors and, and it's a constant uh, changing uh, page and people are, are added, people are deleted and um, every time you're setting up the same thing manually and uh, this can be convenient to use a template. So in this case I've created one template which is called uh, oh, sorry, I'm going too fast, which is called uh, Persons. Um, to insert that template, I just simply click on Insert Edit Template. And then you will see a bunch of uh, HTML files. They're basically snippets of, of uh, code which are inserted. And in this case, I created one called Person.html. I simply select it and then click on Insert at the bottom. And there you can see that uh, I We'll just need to fill in the title of the person, the text that I want to fill in, and I will swap his or her picture there. But the essential part of the two column um, table, like a column here and the rest of the text there, that's already been taken care of. And that way I get a consistent look on the website if I would add uh, another person there. So that's how you can insert um, uh, tables and say that I change some items and uh, and I want to create a, a new template of this and that is simply by doing clicking on the plus sign and then over there on the top it's create and I'll simply create and I will say person underscore Pete. Do not use spaces in this uh, or, or foreign characters, just uh, um, either one word or connect it with an underscore and type make it a template. I will click on that and as you can see it now adds this person Pete file. So when I completely delete this and when I would add person Pete and click on insert, I just get this uh, title there. So if I delete the other one and use the regular person one and click on, need to select it properly, click on insert, there is the other one. So basically if you if you in advance know that this will be a repeating task on, on several uh, pages that you will make, might be convenient to create yourself a template. Once you need to create a new page, you can simply base it on that template by selecting that template there.